day to be on that Memorial Beach watching a concert today. It's going to be a little bit tough, especially right in the afternoon hours, Steve, as we are tracking some showers and thunderstorms. In fact, on the radar right now, they're still you know, fairly far off to our west, several hours away at least. We're thinking late morning or early afternoon for their arrival. Uh, prior to that, though, we do have some areas of fog that have made visibility poor in spots, especially closer to the coastline. So we're tracking for this Tuesday. It's a bump in the road. Today is really the only uh, day of unsettled weather in a stretch of beautiful uh, late summer conditions with showers and thunderstorms associated with a cold front returning to our area. Gusty breezes on Wednesday helping to dry us out behind that cold front and that winning streak. Again, it's a long lasting one. Dry skies and pleasant from tomorrow through the upcoming weekend. As we look at our visibility right now, talking again about some of that fog, we're down to about a half a mile, Hyannis and Martha's Vineyard, a quarter mile on the block. Visibility down to under two miles in Newport. So we're talking about some isolated, but some locally dense fog. So you're going to want to be careful as you hit the roads this morning. You may run into those changing weather conditions. Now in Providence, visibility is great as we look at City Camp. The temperature there at 64 degrees, calm winds, the humidity back to that very high and comfortable air that we've been um, seeing, you know, off and on this summer. In terms of your temperatures elsewhere, it's 63 Smithfield, upper 50s in Bristol County, 63 in Westerly, Block Island coming in near 64. So showers and thunderstorms breaking out later today. The clouds already arriving out ahead of it and we'll be mostly cloudy this morning. The fog thinning out by mid to late morning hours. And again, it's late morning and early afternoon where these showers will start to push in. So coastal fog for this morning, about 65 to 72. Future cast will time it out for us here at nine o'clock this morning. Uh, mostly dry conditions. Then watch by 11, 1130. We're starting to see a few showers moving in and it's certainly by early and mid afternoon, two o'clock that we're looking at some widespread rainfall, even some embedded thunderstorms. And some of those thunderstorms as I had mentioned, could contain some heavy downpours. 9.30 this evening, we're already starting to see some clearing, so drier night on the way, and we'll see uh, skies becoming mostly clear by tomorrow morning, and that clearer weather, the mostly sunny skies, will continue into your Wednesday afternoon. This afternoon, though, showers and thunderstorms and a cooler day at the coastline, only 73 in Newport and Charlestown, 74 in Westerly, about 75 Hope Valley. Temperatures in the northern part of the state, mid-70s, Burrowville and socket showers and thunderstorms humid conditions in southeastern Massachusetts you're looking at mid 70s in Fall River New Bedford about 76 degrees for the high in Seekonk fog and showers thunderstorms at the beaches today about 73 degrees for your air temperature seven day future cast we get through today how about that stretch of weather upper 70s on Wednesday Thursday we do it again some comfortable sleeping weather at night even by late tonight the temperatures will be down into the upper 50s to lower 60s and then we are going to stay dry and pleasant it looks like through the upcoming Coming weekend and turning our skies partly sunny on Sunday and Monday. We may get some high clouds that stream up from the south of us. We'll keep you updated on all of it. WPRI.com is going to be your place to go to. to get